joining us. My name is Val and this is Cam. Hi friends. We're so excited to learn about God and his word with you. We're going to start by singing a song to worship Jesus. Yes, I can't wait. Hey, can you remind me real quick of some ways that we can worship Jesus? Of course. We can sing, clap, raise our hands, or even have a super duper cool dance party. <laughs> Anyway, worshiping Jesus is so much fun. Yes, it is. Friends, let's all stand up and worship together. your head and rub your belly. Okay. No, like pat the head and rub. It's so hard to do at once. You've got to be coordinated. Oh, Cam, Cam, the video. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, friends. So last week we learned about the amazing dream that God gave Joseph. That's right. But we also learned that sometimes when God gives us dreams or promises, they take a long time to actually happen. Yeah. After Joseph had his dream about becoming someone very important, it did not happen right away. Mm -hmm. And his brothers were super mean to him because of it. Yeah. And today, we're learning the rest of the story. That's right. But first, let's do an activity. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Do we need anything? Yes, and if you want to do the activity with us, you'll just need a piece of paper, something to write with, and some markers or crayons or colored pencils or something to color with. But but we don't, we don't have any of those things. Wait a minute. I get what's going on. Are we going to use snapping fingers? Yes, we are. Oh, I knew it. Okay, everyone. Let's warm up our snapping fingers and snap on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. It worked. <laughs> I knew they would. Snapping fingers never fail. Mm -hmm. So what's our activity? We are going to pretend like this piece of paper is our life. Ooh, existential. But, but there's, there's nothing on this piece of paper, so that seems like a super boring life to me. Well, think of some dreams you have for your future oh. and write or draw them on your paper. Okay, all right. Maybe you, you want to be a doctor when you grow up. Nope. Or maybe you want to learn how to ride a bike. I want to climb a mountain. Hmm. So I drew my mountain. Okay. And I want to travel, so I'm going to draw a plane. Ooh, I like yeah, that. That some... sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. I'm not going to take my plane to my mountain. I want to climb the mountain by foot. Ooh, yeah. There we go. See, my mountain and my plane. Those are great dreams. Thank you. All right, once you have some dreams on your paper. Got it. Pick it up and mm -hmm. scrunch it really tight into a ball. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's... It's ruined now. Well, you, you, you made me crush my dreams. Sometimes in life, 
things don't always happen like we think they will, or even like we think they should. And it feels like our life and our dreams are being crushed. But if we open it back up, uh -huh. be very careful, because you uh -huh. might rip, rip the paper. Open it up gently. Uh huh. It's, it's ruined. It's totally ruined. No, 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 look, 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 look. Use this crayon. I took all the paper off of it because uh -huh. it was an old crayon. And then you just color lightly over your paper back and forth like this. That is try not going to make a difference. Just try it. It will. Trust me. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And if you're mm -hmm. doing the activity with us, open up your paper and begin coloring it lightly with a crayon. Maybe use an old crayon or like that's kind of broken or something. You can take the paper right off of it and just color it back and forth like this, flat on the page. This is awesome. Okay, look at the design that the crayon is making with the creases. That's beautiful. <laughs> See, if God makes us a promise, it might not happen like we thought it would. And sometimes it might seem like it's not true at all. But even in the hard times, God can make things beautiful. And we can trust that God keeps his promises all the time. Yeah, that, that's like what happened to Joseph last mm -hmm. week. God gave him, gave him a dream, but only bad things were happening to him. Yeah, and today, we're gonna learn that his trouble continued even after he went to Egypt. But let's watch our Bible story and see how God made Joseph's story beautiful and how God kept his promise to Joseph. It's time for our Bible story. After Joseph's brothers had sent him away, he ended up in a different land called Egypt. Joseph worked very hard in this new place. But wasn't he sad? I'm sure he was, but he knew that what God promised in his dreams would happen eventually. Joseph worked for a very important man in Egypt named Potiphar. Potiphar trusted Joseph and put him in charge of his entire house. That sounds like a big job. It sure was, and Joseph took it very seriously. But one day, Potiphar's wife told a lie about Joseph, which made Potiphar very angry, and he sent Joseph to prison right away. Oh no, it seems like only bad things are happening to Joseph. It does seem that way, but guess what? Joseph knew he did nothing wrong. So even in prison, he kept working hard and never gave up on the dreams God showed him a long time ago. He trusted God. He did. Joseph's gift became known to other prisoners around him. They tell him their own dreams and Joseph would then tell them what it meant. It was a wonderful gift that he had. After some time, the Pharaoh of Egypt heard about Joseph and his gift for explaining the meanings of dreams. You see, Pharaoh had some bad dreams himself and needed some help. Oh my! So Joseph was taken to see Pharaoh. Joseph told Pharaoh what his dreams meant and that they were gonna have seven good years and seven very bad years. There would be no food in the land during the bad years. For seven years? Yes, but don't worry, Joseph gave Pharaoh a plan they'd need to save extra food within the seven good years so they would have enough food for the seven bad years that would come after. Pharaoh was very happy with that idea and set Joseph free from prison. Awesome! It didn't stop there. As time went on and the bad years came, Joseph's family back home were running out of food. So Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to buy food. By now, Joseph was a very important man in Egypt. If I were Joseph, I would have said, told ya. Can you imagine how Joseph must have felt? Happy to see them, but also sad and maybe even a little angry. But in the end, Joseph recognized them and forgave them for being mean to him. After that, the entire family moved to Egypt, where Joseph could make sure that they were well. It took what seemed like a long time, but God's promises came true. Joseph saved his family and helped to save all of Egypt too. He was an important man that everyone looked up to, just as he had dreamt a long time ago. Wow! Joseph had a lot of bad things mm -hmm. happen to him. He sure did. But God kept his promise and Joseph's dream came true. And next time I have a hard time believing God's promises in my life, 
I'm gonna think of Joseph and I'm gonna remember that even if it's hard and it takes time, God keeps his promises. That is a great idea, Cam. I'm gonna do that too. Friends, this month we're learning all about God's promises. Mm -hmm. Do you remember our Bible verse? I do. Let's all say it together. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Joshua 21, 45. Great job. Thanks. And one of our friends learned the memory verse for our last week of the series. They did such a great job. Let's check it out. Cam, can you bring it in? Absolutely. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Joshua 21, 45. That was so cool seeing how even in hard times, God can make anything beautiful and he always keeps his promises. I agree. Hey Cam, what is our challenge for this week? So this week, ask your parents about some promises God has made for your family. Oh. And then remember that no matter what happens, good or bad, God always keeps his promises. I love that. Hey, thank you so much for joining us, friends. We hope you have a great week. And we can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Bye.